We are not here to have a good time, but we are going to have a good time. We're not here to soak in the culture, but we will. The culture here is beautiful. We're not here to enjoy the wonderful weather, but we will anyways, because it's a given. We're not here to enjoy each other's beautiful company and get to know each other better, but we will anyway. And um, Raj Kumar is very wonderful. They got us through immigration just like that. They said to immigration, hey, there's Rimji here. They said, okay, right through. So they, no kidding, we just walked right through. You see all the people online looking at us like, mm -hmm. <laughs> we walked by like this. <laughs> One of them asked me if I was the Dalai Lama's younger brother. I said, maybe. Next person come, you show, show, show. This is all Avalokiteshvara forms. This is all Yin. walk around, look at the wall, it's at all the forms of Alok Adishra. When you guys recite Om Mani Peme Ho. And then circumambulate around three times and we meet right here. They take them out once a year here to wash and clean and consecrate and put back in every year. They don't treat it like a statue, they treat it as a living Buddha. Isn't that beautiful? Everybody here? Yes. Let's go to the tar place. Let's make a dedication, okay? Janju. offering incense also to the local deities and we offer incense. Incense is, is a cause for us to be able to hold our vows, hold our promises, hold our samaya and hold our commitments very strong. And what, why is it important to hold our commitments very strong? Because it is the way to break our habituation. When we have a lot of habituation, we create a lot of negative karma. When we are, even we know intellectually what to do, we still don't do. Even we've been told so many times how to transform, we don't transform. Even though we meditated and we read how to transform, we don't transform. And we, when, when we don't transform, we create trouble for others, we create trouble for ourselves, and we create a lot of negative karma. And we slow ours and other people's Dharma practice down. So breaking habituations is a very hard thing for most of us to do because it's many lifetimes. So the way to break habituation is to take vows. If we take the vows not to break them and to hold the vows very strongly. If we hold the vows very strongly, at first it's difficult, in the end it becomes easier. So offering incense to the goddess Tara or to all the Buddhas is very important for holding our vows. Offer your flowers to goddess Tara and then after you finish, I'll get a butter lamp, okay? And offer up and make your prayers. And then circumambulate around Tara three times. Please focus. This Tara site is extremely holy. Yellow, white, and green tar inside. So make very powerful prayers, okay?
It's a blessing. Don't go like that. I'm boyfriend. Thank you. Thank you. Today, when you go on that you just, you know what I mean? You're on my karma. Yeah, and protect me. So when I give to you like that, you know why? Because you're a hantu. <laughs> That's why you run. Wonderful. We had a pilgrimage with the goddess Tara, white Tara, yellow Tara, green Tara. Fabulous. This red spot is open up the Kundalini in you, open up your central channel, and also is a blessing. The temple keeper told me to please bless all of you with it. So it's very, very, he asked me three times, I refused, the third time I said better not. And then the wonderful lady, she can be an emanation of Tara, we believe. And she put this on me to represent blessing all of you. So we believe that ladies that reside in these places are emanations of Tara, manifestations of Tara's energy. So we show them great respect, okay? Let's do one circumambulation with full concentration, and then we go up. And while we're reciting, when we're circumambulating, think Om Tari, Tu Tari Tari Soha. Come. The purpose is to seal the good thing that we did. Seal, it means to rejoice. So all of us can meet again and again in this life to do good things and in the future life to do more good things. So the hug is not a joke. You must feel I did something good. So Tibetan way we have one to rejoice, but we do Malaysian way, just give a hug. So same thing, okay? So rejoice, feel very happy. You know the purpose is not a joke. Feel very happy, very happy. One more big hug and let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 